Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I want to briefly introduce you to NetLabs. For our class Operating the System Security, and potentially for other classes at Fox Valley Technical College, you might have to use the NetLab system. Each of our chapters this semester will likely include one assessment, and you can see them here. We have a lab on the Encryption file system. I've included the lab instructions right in Blackboard. If you want, you can open them up before you even access in NetLabs. But in order to access NetLabs, we have to go to a new URL. Let's go to netlab.fvtc.edu. From there, you're going to have to log in with your username and your password. The username and password for netlab.fvtc.edu is going to be different than the password you use to log into Blackboard with. Before the semester begins or shortly after, I will send everyone a separate login to get into this system. Once when you log in for your first time, the system will ask you to change your password. And if you want, you can change your password to match what you use for Blackboard. And it did not ask me to verify my firewall settings because I've already done that today, but it is very important that each time you log in to NetLabs, you start a remote access test using Java to test your firewall. And in order to do that in the Firefox browser, it's going to download a Java applet and you're going to have to run the Java app. Also notice I am in the Firefox web browser. I highly recommend you use Firefox. I found that Google Chrome is not compatible with NetLabs at this time. You might be able to use Internet Explorer, but I've had best luck with um, Firefox. So, in order to complete your labs, there is a section called the Scheduler. Go ahead and click on that icon, and it allows you to reserve some time for your assessments. This class we are in is Operating System Security. So if we click on that, we can go ahead and pick what lab we want to do. Now, if we go back to Blackboard, it looks like we're doing Security Plus Lab 20, Crypto Number 2. So if we go here, we should be able to find lab 20. Let's go ahead and select that. And now we have to schedule a time. It is 1.15 on my computer right now, but notice NetLab thinks it is 2.15. We got the time zone mixed up, but hopefully we'll fix that in a little bit. Either way, if NetLab thinks it's 2.15, let's go ahead and schedule a reservation for right now and we'll make it last until um, for me I'm just gonna do 230 but you have the option of reserving a lab time for up to four hours that should give you plenty of time to complete the work oh, tells me that my lab reservation must at least be 20 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and take this from 2.30 to 3 o'clock. All right, I'm done with my reservation. So I can click on I am done. And now up top we see I have a net lab reservation. I'm going to go ahead and enter the lab now. This is another part where you need to be patient. It does take a good amount of time to start up your equipment pod, but eventually it should start for you. So let's just give it a little break. All right, I'm back. Um, I paused the video for about three minutes while our lab loaded up, and we can see that I'm now in my lab using security pod number one, and we have 31 minutes remaining. If you need to access a machine, all you have to do is click on it. So 
If, for example, I wanted to use the Windows 7 attack machine, I'm just going to left click on that and it's going to bring me a new Java applet. Let's go ahead and open up and run the Java app. If it doesn't pop up automatically for you, you might have to look in your downloaded items folder. As soon as you run the Java app though, you should have full access to a virtual machine and from there you can log in. And our password hint says regular password. I'm not sure what that is so I'm gonna go ahead and look at our instructions and I can see that the password is password. Hmm. Not very secure but let's give it a try. Alright and I'm able to log in and access this VM just as I could any other virtual machine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close out of that box and go back to our lab. You're gonna see that you have a few options here. Topology allows you to connect to several different machines, a sniffer or a firewall. And you're gonna be using the topology screen a lot. Additionally, we have action and status. You're probably not gonna use these a whole lot, nor are you gonna use connections. Um, primarily, we're gonna use topology and if you scroll all the way down you can also show lab content and that's going to open up a new window where you can view the instructions for the lab but keep in mind I already put the instructions for the lab in Blackboard and as you complete the lab I want you to follow these requirements for each lab you do I'm going to have you take a screenshot when you complete a certain step. You can paste that screenshot into a new Word document and then you can answer all the questions at the end of the lab. And when you are complete with that, you can go ahead and submit that assignment into Blackboard to receive your points. If you have any questions, feel free to give me an email and I'll do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. Good luck this semester.